Big surprise, camping trip, and now buying stuff I probably don't really need. I realized I didn't have a plate, so I got a plate too. That was the cheapest one there. And my daughter will like it when I go home, I can give her the plate. So, win-win. Cold beer. Oh, here we go. Here's the start of the 48 hour catch and cook solo adventure. Um, wish me luck. Let's do this, the wind's against me. This is the first thing I see when I walk into my campsite. Something destroyed this bird. And like, is it a raven? Like look at the size of that bird's skull. Yeah, there's the, there's the beak. Look at the size of this thing. Holy frig. Um, it may not look that bad in this little sheltered cove right here, but this is the worst I've ever seen this lake. Like, I mean, seriously, the, the, there's, there's actually white caps out there that was swamping me. Like, I, I'm soaked. Oh, my pants are soaked. But, um, so we're, we're going to stay here. I'll unload everything. Uh, to go fishing, I'll just go, just meet myself in the boat. That way, if I go over, it's just a few things. But of course you walk in and you find a, a bird's been murdered here, which is kind of scary. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get things set up. We got dinner, boys. Nice sized bass. Let's go deal with this right now. Yes. We'll come back and do everything else later. Um, everything else is good. Let's go. Dinner. There we go. He's 14 and a half inches. See, I think I brought my scale. Let me check. Sun's out now. I just about to get my stove put together, get a little fire, and cook this bass up. Um, now, again, it's a catch and cook, you know, 48 hour challenge. Now, hold on. Oh, there. Uh, the thing is, I have allowed myself some seasoning. I bought some lemons, and I do have a few onions um, to, you know, season the fish. I had also had salt and some garlic salt which i apparently left behind that and all my big giant ziploc bags for the fish i wanted to bring home that i caught the day i was heading home so this that kind of puts a damper on that so uh i guess one of my <laughs> my little uh, fabric cooler is going to get really smelly uh on my ve uh, venture home so it's still windy as ever but it's sunny. And anyways, let's cook this fish before I attract a bear.
There is a snapping turtle feasting on the bass for the carcass I threw in there. There you go. It's called survival, catch and cook. No, we're not gonna cook you, buddy. We're not gonna cook you. Yeah. He just wants to bite me, though. No, I'm not gonna cook you. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna let him go. All right, let's try this again. Good so bite. normally I don't like keeping little bass. Um, I never do keep little bass. Um, usually um, I go, it has to be at least 12 inches or bigger for the 14 inch ones. Um, so you know I've got, I have for dinner I had the 14 and a half inch uh, bass, smallmouth. Um, I just uh, recently caught the 16 inch uh, smallmouth and then I ended up hooking a small, small mouth, uh, he's, about, he's about eight and a half inches, but he took the hook too far down. And so as I reeled in, as pulled him up, you could just see the blood pouring out of him. And I tried to revive him, tried to put him back, but uh, he shuddered and that was it. Uh, and unfortunately that's how, how it goes. Um, you know, not everything is, uh, you know, rainbows and lollipops when you're surviving. Um, so instead of wasting him, um, I'm going to eat him. Uh, I'm going to cook him whole so I can get every little bit of, uh, food off him, off of meat off him. So I, I gutted him, I gilled him, and I, uh, I took the, de scaled him, whatever, scaled him. So we're going to cook him whole. And I found a little plastic bag that I brought a cigar in. Uh, I'm going to... I'm thinking I'm gonna, I might eat later, I might just eat them later. Um, I just want to cook them now just to cook them. Or I might just save some for breakfast. We'll see. Um, or maybe I'll even attempt to smoke it. We'll see. I'll get a little fire going and see what we have. So uh, let's go from there. So the third fish the day. Again, just a little guy. But, uh, we're going to utilize every part of him. We're going to eat everything. So, that dummy's eyeball popped and fell out. So, it got stuck. Oh, my spoon's a little filthy. But, um, I heard they taste like ice cream. Not sea wise, but. Mm. They're hard. It almost tastes like I'm eating um, a BB from one of those airsoft guns. Look at that. Just fall off the bone. Perfect. Now, I was watching a video the other day. The guy said, if you're gonna eat the bass, try the tail when it's crispy. Apparently it's supposed to be really good.
Maybe it has to be crispier. I don't like it. But to each their own. This is perfect. So as I sit and ponder, I don't know, almost everything right now. It's weird. You know, full belly, full of fish. It's nice. It's so quiet out here though. Yeah. At least like my other solo trip was, you know, I had a dog with me but I couldn't bring Thor out here with the kayak it's not not used to kayak so that wouldn't have worked too well but um I think I'm gonna go to bed soon call it an early night Oops. Ouch. Uh, the bugs aren't actually that bad just the odd one um I get a good night's sleep get up early maybe try to get fishing at 4 35 in the morning head out do some fishing for breakfast, I guess. So, I heard, uh, other than the odd boat going by, um, it's nice when there's no boats. But, um, I heard, uh, something like a great horned owl. <laughs> Extremely loud, echoing over the lake. Who knows where he is, though? It could be anywhere. Sound travels on this lake. Sound travels on all lakes, really. All small lakes. Anyways, let's see what tomorrow brings, boys. <laughs>